Now, I know that this game wasn't everyone's favorite, and I can understand why, because Ghost of Tsushima is kind of just a generic open world game when you think about it. But what made it stand out to me was not only the fact that it's samurais and ninjas and everything like that, which I just, I love the period, but what really surprised me was the brutal, absolutely brutal combat not just being Souls-like combat. Now, I'm not saying that you didn't have a quick dodge and a dodge roll in Tsushima that was obviously inspired, inspired by uh, Souls games, but it wasn't the slow, cumbersome, tactical Souls-like combat that you've come to expect in pretty much every game nowadays. No, this is like an action combat system where your reactivity is what's important. Not only did you get some of the most badass armor I've ever seen in a video game, but they all actually had different values to them. You could actually make builds in this game. I've experimented with all sorts of builds, whether it be ranged, a life leech build, or my personal favorite, the ghost build. Even the hardest difficulty in this game doesn't end up just inflating the enemy health bar or damage or anything like you see in Witcher or Skyrim and stuff. It does my favorite type of scaling where the enemies one shot you, but you one shot the enemies. Meaning that you have to truly master the ins and outs of all of the combat in order to end up being successful. I liked the characters in this game, especially Jin Sakai, but I find that the story was pretty bad. Not bad, it's just very forgettable and didn't really leave me feeling anything. Now, if I objectively critique and judge this game, I would say that it is 90% combat. Like almost all of the quests in the game are literally go somewhere and kill someone. But while that would normally irk me in other games, the combat is just so goddamn fun in Ghost of Tsushima that I never got tired of it. And eventually the game did add New Game Plus, in which case I played through that multiple times. And it also added multiplayer. Now. I would have honestly preferred if this game added multiplayer to the open world aspect of the game. Instead, they ended up adding kind of one of the weirdest multiplayer modes I've ever seen for this type of game. It was still very appreciated, but it didn't age well. Essentially, you would go into these maps that would progress linearly and you would have to fight the same enemies over and over again, which is all good, but it was a heavy emphasis on being co-op. So a lot of times there would be these enemies that are tethered to each other, so you couldn't kill one unless you killed the other. I did enjoy the multiplayer most definitely, but that's because I ended up playing through it with a buddy of mine. I don't think I would ever end up going back to it though. Now, leakers online and whatever are trying to act like this is news, but we already know that the developers are working on their next game and it's a pretty damn good chance that it's going to end up being Ghost of Tsushima 2, just because this game was wildly successful. Thank God, because it finally forced other developers to come out of hiding and be like, hey, you know what would be a good idea? Making a samurai open world game. Rise of the Ronin by Team Ninja, which comes out, you know, at the end of March. That game's heavily inspired by Ghost of Tsushima. And one of the games that I'm most excited for, which is Assassin's Creed Crimson or Red or something, it's going to be the Assassin's Creed that's finally based in Japan. Either way, I, I got nothing but good things to say about this game, except for the pacing when you get to the end game, it slows to a crawl. And it was also just announced today that Ghost of Tsushima is getting a PC port that releases in May. So you can bet your butt, I'm gonna buy it up and replay through the game. And I really hope that we end up getting some mods out of it. I also really hope that we get the official announcement for Ghost of Tsushima's sequel. Honestly, I'd be perfectly fine if it was the exact same game it just added a glider like Zelda and please god add multiplayer co-op to the open world